If you're a fan of NCIS, then you're not alone. The hit series has kept us amused with the best of action and drama for decades. However, it's time to bid adieu to one of our favorites. Mark Harmon has decided to call it quits, and that's left both fans and the cast upset and confused. Keep watching to learn more about Harmon's exit. First up, Mark Harmon bids his farewell to NCIS. This fall, NCIS will return for Season 20, Sans series regular Mark Harmon. In Season 19, Episode 4, Great Wide Open, Open, Harmon announced his departure from NCIS after playing Leroy Jethro Gibbs for nearly two decades and more than 400 episodes. The announcement was abrupt and put an immediate close to his recurring character on the program since its 2003 debut. However, Harmon is still a part of NCIS even if Gibbs left the show on screen. Before the season concluded, many hoped Harmon might return, but that didn't happen. He has officially stopped making regular appearances on television. Fans have been wondering if Tim McGee, Sean Murray, who left Gibbs to go fishing in Alaska, will return for at least a guest appearance. However, Gibbs hasn't been in the series yet, only his post-exit mentions. Executive producer Stephen D. Binder instantly suggested that Harmon might make a comeback on the evening that the character's final CBS episode aired. On social media, he advised followers to never count Leroy Jethro Gibbs out. A few months later, in April 2022, at PallyFest, Binder emphasized this point. However, Mark Harmon continues to work for NCIS, even after after Gibbs left. Harmon continues to work as the show's executive producer even after he retired as the series star of the Enduring Procedural. Murray claims that Harmon is still actively involved in NCIS on the back end. Furthermore, the performer leaves room for the chance that Gibbs might show up someplace in the future. Murray revealed that despite his departure, he saw him around their sets a few weeks later, but just because he was testifying to seeing him doesn't mean he'll give fans a sense of false hope. How the writers plan on writing him back into their lives is one we'll have to wait and figure figure out ourselves, but the team will always have their doors open to his return. Harmon was still included in the season's opening credits, even though he left the show in episode 4. This gave some followers the impression that he might show up before the season 19 climax. Kelly Call, president of CBS Entertainment, clarified that Harmon was only still listed in the credits since it was a transition year. Harmon's removal from the beginning was an expected move going forward. Call told TV Line when NCIS was renewed by CBS for season 20. Even though Ducky Mallard only appears in a few episodes per season, Dave McCollum's name continues to appear in the opening credits. However, Call claims that there are currently no plans for Harmon to make a comeback to NCIS as Gibbs. Everyone is aware that the door is open should he ever decide to drop in for a single episode or several. Don't go anywhere, because there's a lot more of NCIS we have yet to discuss. Up next, Gary Cole and Katrina Law discuss filming without Harmon. Before the previous season, Cole and Law both joined the NCIS ensemble as series regulars. The pair discuss their feelings about being newcomers on the venerable CBS procedural in the cast of characters supplementary section on the recently released season 19 DVD, along with their interpretation of Gibbs' well-known Rule 15, always work as a team. La told Parade that the scene in which everyone is aboard a boat is her favorite script. You first saw the team come together to become what they are now at that point after Gibbs. Alden Parker welcomed us for the first time, made us his own, and risked his safety to support his group. That was an important moment for the show going ahead, according to Law, because it demonstrated to the fans that the new NCIS lineup is a cohesive unit that values its relationships with one another. Audiences received the message loud and clear. Yes, they work as a team. They have feelings for one another and will eventually come to love one another as a dysfunctional little family. Gary Cole, a star of NCIS, acknowledges that he is the new guy. Cole took over as the NCIS team leader when Harmon left. Parker turned out to be the perfect substitute for Gibbs, despite the the network's claim that he wasn't. Even though Law is practical as new as he is, the experienced actor acknowledges that he qualifies as the new guy. He claims that the cast has fun together and that they are growing more at ease with one another every day. Harmon believes they've struck the appropriate balance between being able to joke about and be carefree with each other and then get down to business when they're required to do so. He insists that it's vital to a good work-life balance. With a long season like theirs, there tends to be some repressed anxiety, and a little fun is the only way to let loose. He believes that they've succeeded in that. It's enjoyable to work there, as per him. Also, Mark Harmon has broken his silence over his sudden departure. Harmon discusses how the chance to work on new and difficult material is what kept him leading the CBS drama for more than 18 seasons in a season 19 DVD featurette provided by ET.com. He then referred to Gibbs' final scene, which aired on October 11th, and featured the team's boss calmly casting a line into an Alaska bay while assuring Special Agent McGee, I'm not going back, Tim. I'm not 
not going back home. In the DVD extra, Harmon revealed that his character had a fully fleshed story arc and development. He felt that it was the right time to call it a day and leave Gibbs at peace. He believed his conclusion was sincere and acceptable. After season 18, Harmon was prepared to hang up the Gibbs cap, but he soon discovered that CBS might decide to not renew NCIS if he did. He consequently consented to return for season 19 in a limited capacity, but left after four episodes. But the real trick was for the writers to give Gibbs a satisfying conclusion. Gibbs has frequently asked the question, what am I without the job? Thus it was of course up to showrunner and executive producer Stephen B. Binder to determine the reality of what it would look like if Gibbs were no longer employed at NCIS. Binder claimed that it didn't seem right to see him working in his basement, playing checkers in the park, and doing his grocery shopping after retiring. They ultimately decided to place him nowhere, since it just didn't seem proper to place him in a boring domestic lifestyle. He ventured out into the wild and the woods, and that made room for every scenario. The audience could interpret his finale as they chose to do so, and that made it a fitting chapter for the character. In other news, thankfully Harmon has plenty of achievements and awards for his legendary role. Despite having a large number of nominations, Mark Harmon only received a small number of prizes. He received honors for NCIS, Naval Criminal Investigative Service, including the PRISM Award for Best Male Performance in a Drama Series Multi-Episode Storyline, and the People's Choice Award for Favorite Crime Drama TV Actor. In 2012, Mark Harmon also received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's not all. Because of his role as Gibbs, Mark Harmon is thought to have a net worth of $100 million, and Mark's son also made a guest appearance on the show. In recent seasons, NCIS has become somewhat of a family affair, featuring several of the cast members' loved ones in special cameo parts, from Sean Murray's daughter, Kat Ryan Murray, to Mark Harmon's wife, Pam Dauber. But did you know that the couple's oldest son, Sean, made an appearance on the show in a very special position before Mark's wife's brief run as investigative journalist Marcy Warren? Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber, both 69 years old, have been married for 35 years after getting hitched in 1987. Early in the 1980s, they were introduced by mutual acquaintances, married in a small ceremony in front of close friends and family, and had two boys together, Sean, 34, and Ty, 30. Although NCIS fans might not be aware of it, they've been watching Sean for years. Both boys have pursued careers in Hollywood, with Ty working as a screenwriter and Sean following in his father's footsteps and becoming an actor. In a flashback episode since 2008, Sean has been featured on the program as a young Leroy Jethro Gibbs. His most recent cameo was in the 2020 episode Everything Starts Somewhere, which details how Gibbs and David McCollum's Donald Ducky Mallard were embroiled in their first case together. To date, he has appeared in seven episodes of the program. Harmon has always praised his sons and expressed his admiration for their work ethic and dedication to acting. And that's a wrap, folks. We are just as excited to see Mark Harmon return and reprise his role as the legendary Gibbs. Till then, comment below and tell us your best guesses of how he could make a comeback. Like and subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated about your favorites.